Hello, thank you for joining me for another edition of 365 Days of Public Speaking. My name is Lionel Yamente. Today we're going to talk about what your audience needs from you. When you go up on stage to give a message to speak to a group, what is it that they really need from you? They might be there for various different reasons, but what is it that they really need from you? One of the people that I really have a lot of respect for in public speaking, one of my mentors, he said once that give sell your audience what they want and give them what they need sell your audience what they want and give them what they need in other words to be able to get up there in front of them tell them whatever they want to hear but once you're up there give them what they really need to hear now when you get the chance to be up there on stage in front of that group what is it that they really need from you Three things that they need, very simple. Three things your audience needs from you. Number one, tell them what they need for them. Give them a reason to listen. Why should they listen? That's critical because everything else that you say right after that is going to sound more interesting, more appealing to them. It's going to reach them better than if you don't tell them what they need for them. For example, you can open a talk with an expression or a statement that says for example within the next 10 minutes you're going to learn what you can do specifically you to be able to save five people that could have ended up with cancer very simple so right from the get-go they know oh I would have the opportunity by the time I get I finish listening to this talk I would have the opportunity to learn what I can do to save five people from cancer and that's a big deal so first, tell them what is the need for them. Number two, what is it that your audience need from you? Number two, make it personal. Within the first 20 to 30% of your talk, you need to establish how you relate to them. What is it that you have in common with the group that you're talking to? And it's part of what I do so far as speaking to group is concerned. I always try as much as possible to find out some common points. How can I, how do I relate to that group? What are the points that we have in common? Now, if you've watched speakers or most of the time people who do speaking, they always try to incorporate humor into their talks. From TED Talks to TEDx Talk to politicians, humor is a great way to connect to people because once you laugh with people, it creates that kind of connection on a subconscious level that, hey, we are all human beings and we can all find something to laugh at or to laugh about. Very, very effective way to give them what they need to find some humor into preferably a personal experience or personal situation from which you can derive the humor from. So number two, in terms of what giving your audience what they need is make it personal find ways to share part of your life experience with them in a way that makes them see themselves in you they'll be more open to listening to everything else that follows number three talking about what your audience needs from you give them something to take home i've seen a lot of people give great talks but with nothing for the audience to take home by the time you're done with a session or with your talk one of the questions that is going through your audience mind, every single one in the, in the audience is, so what? Now you've taught us all these great things, so what? What now? What do I do next? What, what now? Is a great question that everyone in the audience is asking themselves. Now if you look at TED Talks, for example, the, they promote one idea that you should take home with you and try to rethink your perspective on sometimes one aspect of life, sometimes a topic. Anything that it is, is usually about taking one idea and see how you can shift your perspective to hopefully create a positive change. Now, when you're talking, what they need is one thing that they can do or that they can, a feeling, whatever it is, or a new piece of knowledge that could revolutionize the way they do things in their own life, that could shift their perspective is really really important what does your audience need from you three things number one tell them what's in it for them why should they listen well, what is it that should make your talk or what should compel them to listen further number two make it personal 
How can they relate to you? What is it that you do have that makes you be like them? Number three, give them something to take home. It could be a gift. It could be a new thought. It could be a new way of looking at things. It could be an action step. For example, help the five people that are closest to you or give them a phone call as soon as you get home because now you know that life is very fragile. Very simple but very effective. Always keep those three things in mind every time you're giving a talk. Remember, sell them what they want and give them what they need. Thank you so much for listening to, for watching today's talk. If you have a question or a comment, you can leave it in the comments below and I will make sure that I answer them. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel if you like it to keep the videos coming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.